Christy, thank you. A cruise ship upgrade today at the Port of Baltimore. A new state-of-the-art passenger boarding bridge was unveiled, kicking off a five-day cruise to Bermuda. Boarding a luxury cruise ship in Baltimore wasn't always a luxury. Kind of a rough uh, gangplank going up, the, up, 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 and it was kind of rough, and you had to be careful of your footing. But the Port of Baltimore is showing off its new state-of-the-art boarding bridge. The glass-enclosed walkway includes heating and air conditioning, year-round climate control. This looks much easier. I don't think I'll be stepping and falling. The new boarding bridge is over 470 feet long. Passengers are provided uninterrupted cover from the time they enter the cruise terminal until they board the ship. And until today, our passengers boarded a ship using an open air gangway, which today wouldn't be so bad, but think about it in January and February, and especially the last couple of very hard winters that we've had or all of those days when it was over 90 degrees last summer. The $2.9 million boarding bridge was manufactured all the way in Barcelona, Spain. It's compatible with all the ships that cruise out of our port. And for those who have walked through it, there's no looking back. I have personally used the passenger bridge and it is light years away from the old gangway, which resembled something from the Pirates of the Caribbean. The passenger bridge represents a bridge to the future, one filled with possibilities. Hopefully, one day we will have a second pier so we can welcome other cruise lines year-round or seasonally. A record 112 cruises will leave Baltimore's port this year, carrying more than 200,000 passengers, and nearly every cruise that departs is at 100 percent. <laughs> Capacity. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> Let's go. Ready to board. You twisted my arm. You really I know. Yeah, it's easy. Park your car there. Go.